Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Father, tonight our hearts are ready for all that you're set to do in our midst today. We thank you for the move of your spirit. We thank you for everything that you're doing. Our hearts are are excited about the journey, about all that you've brought us through. Thank you for being a good God. Thank you for the impartations of the spirit. Thank you for every class. Thank you for the move of your spirit. We are eternally grateful to you. Tonight, our heart is full of praise at all that you're doing, all that you're doing for the impartation that will, you know, come on us tonight. Thank you for the release of the blessing. Thank you for the commissioning. Our hearts are full of gratitude for every birthing session at the minister's school, for every class, for the training, for the opportunity to intercede for nations. Be blessed and magnify your name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Over to the anchor, please. Thank you very much. Good evening to everyone. You're welcome. The impartation service. Today, 18th June 2020. I'll be your moderator for tonight. Help us. With me is Miss De Musamola. She will be my co anchor. Now, to ensure free communication so that we can really enjoy like every one of us to ensure that you are a myth. Please check down and look at the bottom of your phone. You will see a logo of a mic. Please make sure it is in red. Make sure the column is in red. That's how you should be sure that it and also the video, please ensure that the video is on. We care to see get to see your beautiful and your handsome faces, please. Thank you. And uh, in case you have a question or any observation, please check into the chat box. Participants, you see a column downward, you see a column participant on it, then any message you have, at means as you to reply you as soon as possible. Please, they will do that swiftly. They will reply the message very swiftly, I promise. For today, I'm sure we have. Um, I would like to congratulate the graduating students, say congratulations. And to all our guests, despite your busy schedule for finding time to be here with us to celebrate us. We are very grateful. My heartfelt appreciation. So now without wasting um, any time into the 
of, of the day. And now, do that. For the opening prayer, I will call on General Nike away. Father in heaven, we want to say thank you. Thank you for this amazing 60 days journey. It's been amazing. It's been mind blowing. It's been life transforming. You have set us upon our paths. You have set us upon our high places. You have equipped us. You have taught us. You have imparted us. You have anointed us. You have done so much that our eyes have not seen, our ears have not heard neither as we entered into the, our understanding. There's so much you have filled our lives with that we are grateful for. Thank you for the coordinator of this ministry school. Thank you for the teachers. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for the impartation of tonight. Thank you because none of us will miss out on that which you have prepared for us. For this, we are grateful. Thank you for relationships that we have built among ourselves. Thank you for destiny helpers they have raised for us here. Thank you for this amazing journey and for the journey that is ahead of us. For all of this, we want to say thank you. Thank you for the equipping of every general here. Father, I want to thank you especially for tonight. Thank you because <laughs> our eyes have not seen, the eyes of men have not seen, the eyes, their, their hearts have not comprehended that which you would do in our lives today. Today we commit every general into your hands. We declare that our hearts are receptive to your word. None will miss the impartation. None will miss the, the word that you will send to us as individuals. None of us will Amen. miss the anointing tonight in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we hand over this meeting to you. We ask that you will have your way. Let your power be made available. We bring our minds, our spirits, our souls, our body, every part of us under subjection to your power and your influence. We ask that you would take over have your way in this place. And so we declare this meeting open in the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, and in the name of God Amen. the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is General Yetinde Musmola, and like General Ezekiel announced, I'm your co-host tonight. So relax and have fun in his presence. Without wasting much of your time, I'd like to quickly call upon the pioneer, the coordinator, the provost, so many caps all in one, Reverend <laughs> B. Bomisele, for the welcome address. Thank you. Thank you, General Yetunde. I'm deeply humbled by the privilege given me by God to welcome everyone to the first ever graduation and over an impartation service of the minister school. Feels like it's only yesterday when the school welcomed a set of ministry gifts on board this 60 day journey of unbundling and rediscovering through the word, prayers, reading and reflections. The rest isn't history as they say, the rest is making history. I'm indeed excited about how God has equipped by his spirit and several facilitators, this set of generals to take on new territories and frontiers for the kingdom. At the minister's school, every enrollee is a general because we have an understanding that every ministry gift, regardless of the office they function in, has a critical assignment and role in God's end time army. They, have all, they also have at their disposal innumerable angels who are akin to the voice of their command. Time and words will fail me to appreciate God's servants who facilitated the weekly classes, the prayer calls, and specialized sessions with the various ministry gifts for their labor of love. Thank you so much for supporting the minister's school in equipping these generals. My earnest prayer for you is that God daily renews your strengths and continues to give you wisdom and insight to grow in the knowledge of him. I cannot but appreciate and acknowledge Dr. K and Pastor May Jishesa for gracing this occasion and taking time out of their busy schedules to exalt and impact soaring grace on the graduating court. I'm indeed grateful, Sir and Ma. I equally appreciate everyone connected and acknowledge the presence of the family and friends of the graduating generals. Thank you for supporting them throughout this journey. It's truly been a stretch but you stood with them regardless. I acknowledge every minister of the gospel, the new generals on board, 
that is the cohort two who will be starting their classes on June 30th. Thank you all for making time out to make history with us today. To the graduating generals, what can I say? It's with mixed feelings of delight that I speak, that I speak today. First, let me commend you and congratulate you for staying through this journey. I remember the 5 a.m. prayer calls. Sometimes we have to stay, you know, extra time. It's been worth it. I applaud your tenacity, your resilience and commitment. And though you're officially graduating from the school today, never forget that this is home. So you will always have love and a space here. Finally, I charge you all to stay through to your call, running the race God has set before you with everything you have. Because we have only one life to live and we must live it for the master. You're charged not to drop this button, which has been handed on to you, but to carry on and pass it on within the set exchange, within the set exchange zone in this generation. I commend you to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among the saints. And yeah, every time has been worth it. Now this is, now that's an official speech, but this is from my heart. Every time has been worth it. I, I woke up today and it felt like bed, bed pangs. Now I could get emotional, please just overlook it. It just felt like bed pangs. I remember all the prayer sessions. I would push in the place of prayer. I remember everything. And I look forward to the monthly meetings. I know we'll still, um, we'll still have the recourse, you know, to pray. I'm grateful to God for every fellowship that you've built here. I know there's some of you from outside Nigeria. And one thing that we've learned here is it doesn't end here. We only just begun the journey. There are lives to touch. Do you remember the last um, session replicating you? We can't drop the button here. There's so many lives to affect. There's so many souls to touch. There's so many families to build. There's so many people to raise in the anointing. And we can't stop here. We just begun this journey. And until you can raise more people, until you can see yourself in others, until there are people who say, this person raised me, you can stop. There's so much more in your life than you see right now. And remember what we read from Kennedy Gaines' book? God promotes faithfulness. No ministry call is, is, um, is less than another. The ministry of helps is as valid as a fivefold. I'm so grateful to God that some of you that came in as I'm just a backup singer, I only sing. Now see yourself as a full ministry gift, just like an apostle will, just like a prophet will. There is so much to push for. Remember, don't miss your birthing seasons. I mean, I remember all the classes. I remember the classes that it started out as classes. I remember, <laughs> and then we just got we just got into birthing, and then we pushed forth in the spirit. It's been an amazing journey. I want to thank all of you. For those that your spouses joined, thank you for supporting them. Sometimes we have to stay 30 minutes extra after classes and close late, but it's been worth it. Remember the last class, find three to five people in the next three months that you're going to push for, that you're going to mentor, that you're going to pour this grace that God has, has given you today to. Thank you, everyone who has joined today. That's how we get emotional sometimes in class. Please forget this passion. Thank you for taking time out to be here today. And um, please let your heart be open. Um, Dr. K is going to be speaking over us. Pastor May, I'm so delighted she's here. She's going to be speaking a word of blessing um, over us. And the facilitators are here. I see Pastor Boo, you already. Reverend Denzel should be here. Pastor Shola, Pastor Bimbo. They're going to be speaking over us. Please receive all the blessings. Receive it with your heart. And, and you'll, be, you'll be soaring. Next level. Remember, finally. I could go on and on, but this is not class. Remember three things you must take from here. Remember your next season's chota. Remember your next move's notepad. And remember your affirmation. Daily stand before that mirror. Whether you feel like it or not. And declare who you are in Jesus. 
declare the calling on your life. Finally, remember your profile. You sat with God and brought out those profiles. So put them before you daily and see yourself. Remember, your future is where your eyes is. Your future is where your eyes are because that's where you're going to spend the rest of your life. Put those profiles before you and speak your affirmation. It's not about what I see right now, what I feel. I see those crusades. When you put those profiles in front of you, you will see those crusades and remember. You will see those healing, you will see the healing schools and remember. Oh, I remember two of you, your calling is about bringing um, tout, um, um, bad boys to, to God boys. Stay on it, stay on it. It will come to pass. Thank you so much everyone for coming. God bless you all. Thank you so much, Ma, for the welcome address. It um, got emotional, emotional at some point. Who else was cutting onions? Exactly. <laughs> all right. Um, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it, it's fine. It's all good. Um, all right, quickly, really before we go on, um, we're just going to be showing you a little video clip. So you have a sneak preview of what our 60 day journey was about. Please watch. Men and women, hungry for more of God, ready for the shift in spiritual seasons, enrolled into God's end time army, willing to be stretched and prone for the master's youth. The Minister School, pioneered by Reverend Bimo Nesele, is an urgent assignment by the Father to equip and strengthen ministry gifts, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, and the Ministry of Helps. The first cohort of the Minister School, held from April 15th, to June 18, 2020. Students were grouped based on their current ministry expressions. Season facilitators held sessions with the students for nine weeks. God and you, Reverend Bimbo Mesele. The Surrender Life, Reverend Denzel Prinpe. Spiritual Authority, Pastor Ayo Ajani. So winning, Pastor Tobi Adeguila, discerning and birthing new seasons, Reverend Bimbo Mesele, the new order, Pastor Shola Okodoga, Ministry in Finance, Pastor Boye Ajayi, the clear headed army, Pastor Bimbo Iji Seso, replicating you, Reverend Bimbo Mesele. Students of the minister's school spend time to pray, fellowship with the Holy Spirit, and hear from the Father. Every Saturday by 5 a.m., the students met to pray and build their most holy faith. There was a careful and deliberate selection of books to equip the ministers. The ministry gifts by Kenneth Hagen how you can be led by the Spirit of God by Kenneth Hagen. Hello Tomorrow by Dr. Cindy Trim. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Ephesians chapter 1 to 6. The movie Overcomer best summarized the journey and experience of the minister's school. You don't win races with just your legs. Fix your defeat happens in your head first. This is a mental competition. So I want you to start thinking like a winner. I'm your biggest fan. You're going to do great today. When your body tells you that you can't do it, don't listen to it. It'll tell you that you should quit. But you tell your body that your mind is in charge today. Give God your best, Hannah. No matter what, I love you. 
Don't look back to see who's behind you. Don't worry about them. Focus on what's ahead. It's just like in life. You can't let the past slow you down. Press on to what's ahead. When we give our life over to God, He helps us, He forgives us. He can turn the bad to good and carry it forward. He says, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. You've got to get yourself in position. Your last kick is coming. If anyone is in front of you, you've got to get around them. Don't let anyone block you. It's almost time to kick it in. This is where you pull all your reserves. This is where you leave it all on the course. Now, my daughter, it's time. Now, now. You can do this. Give it everything. Capture half. Extend your stride. Pump your arms. Keep your eyes on the finish line and fight for it. I'm right here with you. You can do this. I can see you winning. I can see you winning. Do it, Anna. Do it, my daughter. Do it, Anna. Finish strong. Draw from your inner strength. Don't look back. Fight to finish. Run the race. The Holy Spirit is your coach. Trust the Father. These and more resonated with the student as the ministers reviewed the movie and drew lessons from it. Two ministers shared their experience at the minister's school. The minister's school has impacted my life in so many ways and it's rubbing off on every member of my family. One of my experiences was how the Holy Spirit came upon my father's old son. He had always desired to speak in tongues and pray the way mommy does every day. This faithful morning, on the 10th of June, something happened. One morning he came into the room and so I was resting. Before going through God's word, I placed it on my wall beside my bed. And so the Lord said, thanking God and worshiping. <laughs> Do you know he busted into tongues from there? He started speaking in tongues. My five years old son was filled with the Holy Ghost. The utterances he made could have only been by the help of the Holy Spirit and not from the head of a five years old boy. This experience continued for a few days and I was able to lead him to Christ. God is a good God. He never leaves us without a witness. He has given me a reason to say thank you for this minister's school. The 60-day journey in the minister's school has been an amazing journey of my life. I have experienced a total shift in the expression of the prophetic and by the grace of God, an function with clarity, precision, and speed. I have a better understanding and deeper revelation of the Holy the Spirit. Testimony upon the constant supernatural support of my needs. With Jesus Joy, we commission today the Pioneer Court for the Minister School. Congratulations, Generals! To those who have registered for Court 2, welcome on board. To those who are yet to register, admissions are ongoing. Thank you so much, General Huchi Okoro, for that graphic representation of our eight weeks in school. Thank you so much. Um, once again, I would like to reiterate that we should please ensure that on generous, please. Generous, please ensure that your visit. Yes, we need to see. Is like really, we want to see that your beautiful and handsome faces. So please do that. Thank you very much. Based on the agenda, we yeah. I am not worthy to call the the are we have in our midst for this. So therefore, I will call on Reverend Abimbola Mesele, who would therefore introduce unto us the anointed. <coughs> Thank you very much. 
thank you, General Ezekiel. Um, tonight we have um, on the call, Pastor Me Mijisheso and Dr. K. Um, Mijisheso, it's such a delight to have them. Pastor Me is going to be praying over every general. Remember, we've prayed about this. I need your hearts open. And to pray alongside her is um, all the facilitators. Pastor Boye is on board. I trust that Reverend Denzel is also on board. Pastor Shola Okoduga, Pastor Bimbo, um, all facilitators. So Pastor Me is going to lead us in a session of prayer. Um, the facilitators will join us. We just pray in other tongues, just releasing God's blessing on the generals. And then Pastor Maya Edisha, so we'll wrap up. Thank you so much, Ma, and thanks to all the facilitators who came on board. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Thank you for having me, Reverend Bimbo. Um, it's such a delight to be here. You know, I was watching the recap and I felt so proud of every single general, every single one of the 42 generals graduating today. Um, the Overcomers Meet the movie is uh, one of my favorites and it shows the power of having a coach push you to your place of destiny and push out the things. <laughs> right. I want to congratulate all the 42 um, former students, you know, 42 generals who are being pushed out, just like Reverend Bimbo said at the beginning, the rest is not history, you know, the rest is the beginning of your expression all over the world. And before I start our session of prayer, I'm going to read two scriptures that the Lord placed on my heart as I began to ask him what exactly he wanted to say through me or pray through me over every one of you. And the first one is in the book of Ephesians chapter three, verse 20. It says, him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. And the second is in Isaiah chapter 60, and I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 5. It says that, just a moment, um, Isaiah 60, 1 to 5. They arise and I speak this to every single general that's graduating today. It says, arise, shine, for your light has come. And the of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the yeah. Lord will arise and is rising upon you today. He will yeah. arise over you yeah, no. and glory will be seen yeah. upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. You know, as we begin to pray over you and speak over you today, I want you to hear these words in your spirit. Nations are calling. Many times when the Lord hears us, this is very nice. What the Lord is saying today that He prepared you for something great. So arise, and I speak to you, and I speak to your spirit tonight, that you are rising, rising up to that call upon your life, and the glory of the Lord shall be seen and demonstrated through you. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us begin by praying in the spirit. Let us begin by praying in the spirit. Just like we just begin to pray the mysteries over every destiny in this place, over every package that's been unleashed to go release destiny all over the world. Beyond the, of Nigeria, beyond the shores of Nigeria, all over Africa, all over Asia, all over Europe, all over, Europe, all over the United States, all over Australia, in the name of Jesus. 
We're going to pray again, and uh, the facilitators are joining me in this prayer. Let's begin to pray that there's a provoking of every gifting, of every deposit on the inside of everyone who is graduating today, that what the Lord has deposited in them is provoked into expression in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we speak to your inside. We speak to the deposits on your inside. We speak to the giftings on your inside. And we say every single thing is provoked today. In the name of Jesus. to stand in your way and try to derail your destiny and try to derail your purpose and God's plan for your life. We begin to arrest every such enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. 
Let the fruit of their ministry, Amen. you will transform nations through them. Amen. You will transform communities through them. You will transform groups through them. Father, we have big dreams where they are concerned. Just like we know you have big dreams concerning them. And we are clear that every equipment, every faith, every grace, every resource needed to fulfill that assignment is given us. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Father. We thank, you for what you thank you for what you Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor May. We receive that with all our hearts and we are eternally grateful. It's such a delight to have my spiritual father here. You know, every word spoken over us today is important for the next phase. And there is an anointing on this call that every word, every exhortation, let, let every word, you know, just open your heart and remember in every of the uh, prayer call, what we have, have heard over and over again is as you receive God's word, pray in tongues under your breath because God will be causing you to hear beyond what is being said. The spirit of God is going to be bringing the word to you as it concerns your season, as it concerns where you are in God right now. So I need your heart open, receive the words, receive the impartation of the spirit. It's for our next level. And it's such a joy to have Dr. K um, tonight. Thank you very much, sir. Hallelujah. Praise Glory God. To God. Good to see, good to, good to be with you, every graduating student, or should I say every graduate, uh, you are the premier, the premier set, I believe, am I right? Yes, sir. And I, I, I just trust God that there will be such a communication of God's word today to prepare you for what is ahead of you. If you believe that, say amen to that. Amen. Uh, amen. In all, how many students are present? Amen. About 42 this current set. And we have more that have signed on to the, to the next set. And everybody, all the 42 are online? Everyone is here, sir. Anyway. Wow, I'm very proud of you, and I'm very proud of what God has begun in your life and where God is taking you to. Uh, very briefly, this evening, I want to share with you from the book of Matthew chapter 14. Matthew chapter 14. From verse 25. Matthew chapter 14, verse 25. It says, now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. But if you read the preceding verse, or should I say verses, uh, from verse 21, it said, now those who had eaten were about 5,000 men besides women and children. So a major miracle just took place. Uh, involving the feeding of 5,000 men, not counting the women and the children from five loaves and two fishes. And in verse 22, the Bible says, immediately Jesus made the disciples to get into the boat. A miracle just took place, massive miracle. But Jesus was not, you know, was not carried away by this miracle. He was, he was so focused on his assignment that in spite of the major miracle that just happened, they so he said, you know, he got them into the boat and he made disciples to get into the boat and go before him to the other side. So apparently Jesus was going to join them, but he sent the disciples ahead, ahead. And while he sent the disciples away, the Bible says when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up to the mount on the mountain by himself to pray. So Jesus sent a team ahead of him and he went to and evening came. He was alone there. But the boat was now in the middle of the sea. Now I want you to take note. Jesus initiated this 
mission. It was not just a good idea. It was a mission of Jesus. And yet, the Bible says, they found their boat in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. Now, listen, gentlemen, you need to realize that the mere fact that God initiated a project, a mission, an assignment, does not mean there will not be opposition. I don't know who I'm talking to, who is dealing with a few things there and there, and is beginning to doubt, did God ask me to do this? In fact, most times when you set out to do the will of God, when you set out to fulfill the mission of Jesus, there will be opposition. Jesus initiated the mission, and yet the Bible says they found themselves in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary to them. And in verse 25, he said, now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them walking on the sea. I want you to take note of this. The very sea that was messing them up, where they were being tossed to and fro, Jesus walked on that very sea. And in verse 26, the Bible says, when disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a ghost, and they went out for fear. Listen, I want to realize that the very thing that troubles humanity is what divinity works on. The question tonight is, are you going to walk like divinity or walk like mere men? <laughs> when you walk in the capacity of the divinity, you will see the impossible manifested. You will walk on the sea. You will do the simile impossible. And that's what Jesus did. And they were stuck in their own humanity, tossed to and fro. But the Bible says in verse 27, but immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, be of good cheer, it is I. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. They found themselves in the midst of a, very, very dangerous situation. And yet Jesus insisted, do not be afraid. In other words, there is no excuse for fear. The mere fact that it looks so dangerous in the natural, it looks so horrible in the natural, it does not look promising. That's not change anything. Jesus is still saying, do not be afraid. I don't know what you are dealing with presently. Do not be afraid. You find yourself in the midst of a turbulent situation, in the midst of a storm. Jesus is still saying, be encouraged. Do not be afraid. Somebody say with me, I am encouraged and I will not be afraid. I am encouraged. I will not be afraid. Say loud and clear. Say, I am encouraged. 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 I am where the ministry is concerned, where the career is concerned, where my personal finances is concerned. But Jesus is still saying, be of good cheer. And so I say, why should I be of good cheer? Why should I be encouraged? Because the very thing that is causing your heart to fear is the very thing that Jesus tread upon. He said, you will tread upon lions and others. He said, you will tread upon serpents and some scorpion and nothing shall by anything hurt you. Nothing scares him. Nothing creates panic for him. It, we, you, you will find him walking on the very situation that troubles humanity. So he said, do not be, do, be, be of good cheer, be encouraged. It is I. Now, why would Jesus manifest himself at this particular time? Because he was trying to communicate based on Psalm 23, verse 4. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because I'm with you. God is saying you are not alone in that storm. You are not alone in that turbulence. You are not alone in that affliction. Jesus is right there with you. And Jesus is not right there with you. But me panicking. He's right there with you, walking on the very water that is carrying you. So he says, do not be afraid. 
He literally walked on this water to communicate something to them. This is nothing. It looks big in your sight, but I'm going to let you realize that it's nothing. It's something I walk on. I'm going to walk on it. And in verse 20, the Bible says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. My charge to everybody this evening is, will you dare God in this season? Thank God for the training. Thank God for the lecturers. Thank God for the lectures you have received. Thank God for the impartations of the spirit that come upon you. But it will be of no use if somebody is not going to step out and leave out the instruction and leave out the revelation and leave out the impartation. I love Peter. Peter was daring enough. Do you know one of the ways to get your faith robust is to literally engage your faith. Christians literally have, you know, a, a passive faith. Faith that is not applied. Faith that is not engaged. Peter, dear God, he said, if it's really you, bid me to come. Bid me to come. And the Bible says, the Lord said, come. Isn't it not amazing that all he had to say was come? One word. A word from the Lord will change your story. A word from the Lord will position you for your prophecy. A word will release you to manifestation. All that Jesus had to say was come. Come. That's all. You know, the problem of this generation is that too much explanation. The reason why we need too much explanation is because we are short on, 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 on manifestation. When you are, you, you are in command of, of manifestation, ladies and gentlemen, you will not need to explain too much because your manifestation will explain your, your belief, your message. There will be a clear communication of what you stand for through your manifestation. Come. Come was enough for Peter. And the Bible says when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Come literally carry Jesus out of the boat. Come made Peter to walk on the water without sinking. As the Lord said, there's an assignment ahead of you. There is a word ahead of you. There is a ministry ahead of you. And I need somebody that will dear me. Somebody that will say, Lord, if it is you, ask me to come. And the Lord is going to respond by saying, come. And when he say, come, that come will be so loaded with all the energy of God you need to manifest the prophecy of God. I want to prophesy over somebody today that after this graduation, you have been activated for manifestation on a whole new level. I declare the activation of the gifts of the spirit in you. I oh, declare no. the activation of the ministry gift that God has placed on you. I declare oh, there will be activation every single thing that heaven has loaded you with to be effective on that. I declare your voice will not be silenced. You will be heard in your generation. You will go to the hands of the heart to declare the glory of the Lord. You will go to the hands of the heart to, to announce the majesty of Mm. You will go to the ends of the heart to declare the goodness of God for mm. generation in the name of Jesus. Amen. And all the word that was needed for all this to have happened was come. Come. And come was enough. Come was enough. Jesus had, I mean, Peter had come and he jumped out. Smart man. The Bible says in verse 30, he said, when but when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. But he was not afraid until he saw what he should not be seeing. There's something called the law of focus. To make the most of what Jesus is giving, you have to be focused. You can't afford to be all over the place. You can't afford to be distracted. You can't afford to be entangled with civilian affairs, knowing fully well that you're a soldier of the law. Somebody say, I'm here. I'm a soldier of the Lord. I'm a soldier of the Lord. Say loud and clear. Say, I am a soldier of the Lord. I am a soldier of the Lord. 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 Soldier of the Lord, you have no room for distraction. Because you are a soldier of the Lord, you are ready to take over in this season. Because you are a soldier of the Lord, you're going to go to the hands of the heart and declare the majesty of God. Declare the goodness of God. Declare the greatness of God. Declare the power of God. Because something is about to happen on our heart that will change the trajectory of things. That will release us into the fullness of what God desires for our generation. Come was enough. 
Peter and John, Peter had John had come and he started walking on water. God says, I'm going to be releasing words to you in this season. What are you going to do with those words? I'm going to be prompting your heart. I'm going to be giving you instruction. I'm going to be leading you. I'm going to be channeling your heart. Are you going to have to meet? Some of you, God is giving you another chance because you once had a chance and you blew it. But I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice tonight that you will not blow God's chance for your destiny in the name of Jesus. But he saw the force, he forced the wind. He saw that the wind was boisterous and he was afraid. God says, you will not be afraid for as long as you will maintain your focus on Jesus. The only reason why you should be afraid is when your eyes goes away from him. Peter was fine until he saw what he should not be seeing. You see the natural, you see the damage being caused all over the nations and you meditate so much on it that you can't see what God is saying again. He said when he saw the wind posturous, he was afraid. When he saw the natural implications, he was afraid. When he saw the limitations attached to the offense, he was afraid. He was, he was afraid and beginner began to seek. Can you see? He was afraid and began to seek. When you enter fear, you just open the door to seek. And he cried out saying, Lord, save me. Verse 31 says, and immediately Jesus stretched out his hands. I caught him and said to him, Oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? Why was he of little faith? He was of little faith because he did not focus on the Lord. He focused on himself. He focused on natural. He focused on anything and everything but the natural. But there's something about coming before God and say, God, I'm ready to be used of you. I'm, I'm ready to go all the way to the ends of the heart and declare your majesty and declare your goodness and, and declare your power to my generation. I will not be distracted. The Bible says immediately Jesus stretched out his hand, caught him. God says, if at all you are distracted for as long as you cry for help, I'll be there for you. He said, Jesus caught him and said to him, oh, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. The wind had the destiny of coming down. But before the wind came down, there were people that were so sold out, that were so committed to the cause, to the purpose, to the agenda of God, that would give nothing to be in this program, that would do everything to be connected with the heart of God. God is saying, it's time for my people to break out in intercession and prayer. It's time for people to, to, to take their position in the case of the city. It's time for my people to align themselves for the fullness of what is ahead of them. Ladies and gentlemen, God is saying, I have huge plans for you. I'm committed to that plan, but I need you to be fully sold out. I need you to be so connected. I need you to say, I will not doubt. I will not be afraid. But I'll go all the way and perform the works of God. I will do the works of God in my, in my generation. I will manifest God on a whole new level. I will display the excellence of God everywhere. Jesus is still saying, come. He said, come to Peter. And Peter walked on water. When he said to you, that come is not based on what you don't have. It's based on him. Because there is a power that sustains saints bigger than the power of gravity. Beyond gravity, there is an anointing that keeps you together and makes you to perform. So today I want to pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. That your power and your might will rest upon them even in this season. To prepare adequately Amen. for what is that was. I declare the name Amen. of Jesus. That every man, every woman that is graduating today will be a recipient of a fresh anointing. Amen. To deliver, Amen. to perform, and to walk in greatness. Amen. Declare your Amen. days of ordinary living are over. Even as you Amen. align with God and step out in faith. I declare miracles on your walk. Amen. Miracles Amen. in your people. All Amen. manner of miracles. May the Lord Amen. increase you. May the Lord multiply you. Amen. You understand Amen. speaking you are receiving. May you receive the impact that confirms Amen. you as an able citizen of the kingdom. Amen. And I declare in the name of Jesus, through your lips, the kingdom will be proclaimed and pronounced Amen. everywhere. You will go to the ends Amen. of the heart Amen. with the word of the Lord, with accuracy. Amen. Power Amen. and joy Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Welcome to your season. I commit you Amen. to God who is able to 
keep you and perizo you until you are fulfilled. I declare Amen. your life will be cut off. Your destiny Amen. will not be cut off. In the midst of this Amen. COVID-19, you will have a greater testimony Amen. of God's Amen. faithfulness. Amen. Your grace in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Say with me, say, I am God. I am. Say, I am position. I, I am position. position. For all that God has for me in this season. I am for all, all that God has, that God has, has for me in this season. season. I am position. I am position. position. I receive I impartation. I receive impartation. impartation. With the vision of God. I'm empowered. I'm, I'm, empowered. Empowered. I'm enlightened. I am enlightened. I'm now activated. I am activated in the name of Jesus. Can you give God a shout of praise everywhere? Hallelujah! Oh, welcome all the new graduates. Thank you for being part of this program and beyond the certificate. You are going, you are leaving the graduation with an anointing to thrive. Amen. With an anointing to excel, with an anointing Amen. to prosper, with Amen. an anointing to do all that Amen. God has called you. Amen. Amen. Into a new day, into a new Amen. season. In the name. Can you give God a shout of praise? Bimbo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to go through the student. I want to see them one after the other and make it very, very fast. I only need like 10, 15 seconds. So you introduce. Okay. Is it possible? Please. Yes, sir. Please introduce yourself based on your call number from general number one, your full and, name, and. And I need to see okay. your face. Okay. <laughs> if not, no graduation. <laughs> your full name, your full name and your line of call, please. Your full name and your major line of call. General um, Uche Okoro, please go your number one. Good evening, sir. My name is Uche Okoro. And um, my name is Uche Achebe Okoro. Before you continue, now, can you stay on Uche? Go back to Uche. I can't see Uche again. Good evening, sir. Thank you, mommy. Okay. Thank you, mommy. Okay. Good evening, sir. Hello, Uche. I the Lord, Uche, just stay there. The Lord told me, is that one of the things that, one of the impartation you are receiving in this season is an impartation of confidence and boldness. Amen. Is that whatever you have suffered in time past oh, has robbed you of confidence? Today, receive his restoration. Amen. Taught in the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. to represent the kingdom Amen. and to Amen. pass the ministry that Amen. God has committed into your hands. Go Amen. forth. That's it. Go forth. Amen. Your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Move to the next one. Good evening, sir. My name is... What's your name? Hello. Good evening, sir. My name is Adidayo, John Adejumo. Adidayo, I speak the blessing on you. I declare by the blessing of the Lord, you will manifest all that heaven declare the signs for you. Amen. Amen. You are blessed beyond measure. Amen. I declare you exceed the expectation Amen. of your environment. Amen. And manifest the greatness of God within you Amen. to be all you are called to be. Be Amen. blessed in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Thank God you bless you. Amen. I did that. You are blessed. Next. Amen. 
Next. Next, please make it fast. Okay, my name is Adini Jarida Kobalaji. Evangelica. Okay, they are not, they are still, the video is still on Adedayo. Okay. My name is Adeniji Adeda Popolaji Evangelica. Okay, I, I'm waiting for the video because I'm still seeing Adedayo. John. Adeniji Adeda Popolaji Evangelica. Yeah. I just want them to show your My name is Adin Jadida Kobolaji Evangelica. Hello. Reverend Prophetess, Mrs. Uh, can you see me, sir? Mrs. That's what he's showing. We are waiting on the Hello. Floor. Hello. Hello. I hear your voice. I did that. Your I declare. May the Lord bless you. May the Hello, Lord bless you to shine Amen. upon you. Lord, give your voice Amen. speed in your generation. Be blessed. Amen. 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 Be impacted for greater Amen. joy. Jesus name. Amen. Yes. Thank you, sir. Next. My name is Addison Adidola Prophetic. I declare in the name of Jesus that the hand of the Lord will be strong and mighty upon you. You will have mm -hmm. capacity for sensitivity, for depth, to know the mind of God and to speak God's mind with accuracy. Amen. Position over your generation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Next. Who is next? My name is. My name is Ajibiola Olua Ezekiel. I speak the blessing line. Mm -hmm. I declare the anointing will rest upon you mightily. You are Amen. called to be. You will Amen. function with a fresh anointing from today and you will impart your work. Amen. That's it. Amen. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Ezekiel. Amen. Next. Next, Ezekiel, you are number what? Number six, sir. I'm number six, sir. Number seven, good number evening, two. Sir. Okay, good evening, sir. I'm uh -huh. General Queen Etta Lobo. May the Ministry glory of the Lord, Lord, may the glory of the Lord rest upon you. Amen. May you have eyes that see. Amen. Yes, I hear. And Amen. the heart that designed the plan of God. Amen. Wherever is uttered by what a autumn, may the balm of Gilead bring a shooting upon you. Amen. Forty beyond Amen. measure in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. By it. Please don't buy it. God bless you. My name is Alonga Who is next? Welcome to Business News. I'm Egizo J. My name is Florence. Okay. Florence, be blessed. Multiply, fulfill your destiny, and go all the way to that end of the heart that the Lord has sent you to in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Next. Who's the next person? Mr. Alonga Kinodu. Next. General Nikia, where? Please go next, number nine. Good evening, sir. My name is Nikki Awe. Okay. No picture. Yeah, my picture is here, sir. No, they are not showing you. I speak the blessing over you. I declare Amen. the Lord will be strong among you Amen. to manifest the fullness of the destiny upon your life. Amen. You will be a voice in your generation. Amen. And you will manifest God's glory everywhere. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Next. General Awofadu Samuel. Awofadu Samuel. I worry, Annabelle, please go next. Hello? Good evening, sir. I am Ayawari Annabelle Louis from the Ministry of Health and Prophetic. The hand of the Lord is upon you to function effectively, to see clearly, to know precisely, Amen. to deliver your Amen. in all its fullness. You will not be hindered, but you'll be effective Amen. all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Next. Amen. 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 Next. General Awofodu, please go next. General Promise Bank Makinde, please go next. Good evening, sir. I'm promised that much in the pastoral. May the hand of the law Egea Susubaka Teki Ato Zombo Bobo direct you and your fears. Amen. Amen. May you experience all that God has for you and be all you are called to be. Amen. No limitation. Amen. Of fullness, Amen. I prophesy over you. Amen. Manifest all Amen. in the name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Is it okay? I've been bola bola Ma, I'm yes. Experience the hand of the Lord. Amen. Behold. Be all you are to be, Amen. and be all without distinction, be all running with precision, be all supplied for directly. Amen. Let Amen. 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 My name is Amarachi Chijoke. I operate, uh, I'm an intercessor and I operate in the prophetic. Sir. May the Lord cause you to have such capacity that know, hear, and follow heaven's and signal precisely, accurately deliver God's Amen. mind to your generation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Dixon Anita. Dixon Anita. If a melody, please go on. Wow. 
Hello, sir. Good evening. My name is Melody Efe. I operate in uh, prophetic and apostolic. The hand of the Lord be upon you to Amen. know heaven's direction, Amen. purpose, Amen. and effectively deliver Amen. as God intends for you. Amen. Amen. Of Jesus being parted with greater effectiveness. And it's a Dixon, and is here. I'm sorry, I didn't unmute my mic. I thought I had unmuted my mic. And it's a Dixon, I function in the helps ministry. The supply of grace. To cover all at every point for you. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Temila de Muzi. Temila de Muzi. Good evening, sir. Be blessed, be imparted, be supplied with all. Amen. With, Amen. With all that it requires Amen. for you to manifest the depth of your purpose. May you not just Amen. run around. No, but we'll have a sense of direction. Amen. To fulfill Amen. the definite agenda of God for your life. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Yes. A saying, Yanulua. A saying, Yanulua. A saying, yes. Be blessed, be imparted, be supplied with all you need to be all you are called to be. For protected and released for your destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rita, please go next. Thank you. Rita. Good evening, I sir. Can't hear you. My name is Marketing Sister. May the Lord bless Hello. you. May the Lord Hello. furnish you with all you need to fulfill all he has called you to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sir. Igwe Priscilla. Good evening, sir. May you stand Thank tall. You. Stand Amen. tall in your calling. Amen. May be oil that your generation needs. May you be whole that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sir. John Janet. Be blessed. Be impacted. And be released to fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. Gide Joseph. Gide Joseph. She's over, KK. Please go next. Good evening, Sam. My and you carry the oil required for your effectiveness, for your delivery, for your impact, Amen. Amen. for your generation to be shaken and imparted Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please unmute your mic. Felicity on Leola Baye. I operate in the prophetic and pastoral. Receive everything that 
heaven has for you Amen. to manifest, deliver, Amen. and impact your generation Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sir. Michael, Victory Sunday. Victory Sunday. Receive impartation. Amen. To deliberately and affect Amen. your work. Amen. On in that more Amen. set to be effective on all rounds, on all Amen. sides. Amen. The name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I release the glory of God upon you for a capacity to design, to deliver, to run, and to be whole. You are called to be in this season. May this season be your best season ever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Obey I on it to me. I on it to me, obey. Yes, ma. Good evening, sir. Receive the full weight of God's glory Amen. needed Amen. to push you Amen. into the center of God's calling upon your life. Amen. For effective Amen. delivery and manifestation Amen. from this season, from this moment, in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Audio James from the teaching ministry, sir. Be blessed. Amen. Be empowered. Amen. And be supplied with all Amen. the resources needed. Amen. For your effective manifestation in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sir. I'm all day to know Lua. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Receive all. My name is Alai Day to know Lua. Receive all. Amen. Become all. Amen. Manifest all. Amen. Deliver all. <laughs> and behold, you are called to be. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tumilara. I call you blessed. I call you furnished. I call you strengthened. I call you ready for your assignments. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. Amala, um, the please go next. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Fully empowered to be whole. Amen. God's hands upon your life represents. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And or Midayo. Thank you, sir. And or Midayo. I call you strengthened. And sensitive, prophetic. released, empowered all oh, that heaven desires for you. You will not be hindered, but you're empowered to manifest all in the name of Jesus. Good evening, sir. My name is Oyete Rodamlola. Good evening, sir. My name is Oyete Rodamlola. I release you in the glory of God. Amen. I release you in the power of the Almighty. Amen. And I say, behold, 
Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Josephine, Josephine, you are so good. Good evening, sir. Be blessed, be helped, be supplied with all it takes to manifest the destiny upon your life in the name of Jesus. Good evening, sir. May the hand of God be strong and mighty upon you. May you deliver your destiny with full force in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sir. Good evening, sir. My name is Oinola Alofi. May the hand of the Lord be strong from and mighty. Evangelica. Amen. To see. Amen. To know Amen. To effectively deliver his Amen. agenda for life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm Armide Taiwo and I'm from the. Uh, my name is Beauty Wife. Be blessed, be furnished, be empowered, and manifest the fullness of God's glory upon your destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good evening, sir. My name is Chinwe. I'm putting the pastor. Cowards to run with speed mm -hmm. and to fulfill all that God has for you mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anna Romida. Beauty Warifa. Beauty Warifa. Good evening, please sir. Go Good evening, sir. My name is Beauty Warifa. I operate in the Ministry of Health and Prophetic. May God's hands cause you to deliver effectively what is agenda for your Amen. life on in that created and empowered Amen. for your ministry Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Has everyone gone now? Is there anyone that has ah, no, Romy Dayo from Prophetic? I call you blessed, empowered, furnished, and released to fulfill your destiny. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, sir. So everybody is covered. Yes, sir. Arrows are in, as as arrows are in the hands of a mighty man. I release you as children of the youth Amen. to Amen. demolish the kingdom of darkness. To represent God's kingdom. Come. To be effective. Amen. To be focused. And to be Amen. held in every ramification. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Love Amen. you. Amen. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much, sir. Congrats Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Um, who else feels good? <laughs> I don't think there's a better time than now to take our pledge. So I'm going to be inviting um, General Bingo to lead us in pledge. Please leave your mics. Um, muted. She will take the pledge over the mic while we proceed along. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for the privilege. I'll be reading this. On behalf of all my colleagues that are graduating today, to first God is beautifying us. We are His glory. His glory is revealed in us. His glory is revealed through us. 
we rise to the call. We lift the banner of Jesus. Mm. We declare and do as the Spirit bids us. Mm. We shine his light for everyone to see. We stand mm. victorious, regardless of the persecution. We have one life to live, and we leave it for the Master. So one and all, the power of Jesus. With God's consistent supply of strength by the Holy Ghost, we will walk with the hand at heart. We are anointed and qualified. We have been equipped to face the call. We stand as one no matter the distance. One big family of ministers cultured by grace and love. We are supernatural in every way, witnessing the love of Jesus and demonstrating his power is our lifestyle. One and in every way witnessing the love of Jesus and demonstrate people for Jesus till the nations call his name we will run the race set before us until the coming of Jesus so amen 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 amen, amen. amen. Thank you so much, General Bimbala, for that. I must commend. Sorry? Okay, thank you so much, uh, General Bimbala. I must commend. You represented as well. Thank you so much. Now, we're moving on to the handover speech. The next item on our agenda is the handover speech. And uh, we will have no other person do this than General Huche Okoro. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for the privilege you've given to me to read our handover speech. Uh, permit me to permit me to share to share this picture as I read the handover speech. What will you attempt for God if you knew you will not fail? These words welcomed us on Wednesday, April 15, 2020, first day of the minister's school. I am honored and privileged to speak on behalf of Court One as we say thank you, Father, for, the uni for this unique opportunity to embark on a journey to be pruned, stretched, strengthened, and equipped. Thank you, Jesus, for the amazing gift called Reverend Bimbo Mesele, a vessel unto honor who yielded her time, resources, and devotion to the Father's bidding. God bless you beyond words, ma. A big thank you to our spirit-filled facilitators who taught us that to be effective in ministry, we must be wholly surrendered to the Father and walk in the consciousness of our spiritual identity and authority. They told us that it is expedient for us to discern our new season, bear the labor tanks, and birth them to be used by God as he establishes the new order. We, rem we were reminded that so really is the heartbeat of God and that as we commit to establishing the kingdom of God on earth, every human and financial resource required is supernaturally provided. Declutter your mind, we were told. Be deliberate about replicating yourself and always remember that you are loved by the Father and that's good enough. We will not forget in a hurry the movie Overcomer. Okay, it drove gosh. home and brought together all the sessions, thinking time, reading materials and assignments and left us with a finisher's mentality. Mm -hmm. By God's grace, we will continue to pray the prayer of consecration and confess our daily affirmations. Mm -hmm. Permit me to welcome all registered core two students to the minister school. We are confident that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former in Jesus' name. As you receive the baton from us this evening, let your hearts be open. Be ready to be stretched and allow the Father inscribe his will and desires on your hearts. Reviewing the books for our group project, The Generals, was a great bonding time. 
intercession circles emerged, covenant friendships were created, and by the grace of God, we are one big family of ministers cultured by grace and love. To reiterate the words of the, of the school pledge, I declare that we are anointed, qualified, equipped to face the call and stand as one no matter the distance. We will witness the love of Jesus and demonstrate his power in our lifestyle. One and all, we will win people for Jesus till the nations call his name. We will run the race set before us until the coming of Jesus Christ. Whatever the Father is doing this season, we are available to be part of it. With these few words of mine, we hand over the baton to you, Core 2. God bless you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you for speaking on behalf of Cohort 1. You know, they haven't developed a way to clap on these virtual meetings. We have done a round of applause for her, right? For representing us so well. Okay, y'all muting your mics. <laughs> Okay, all right. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, very quickly, I would like to invite Mrs. Taiwo Oyekon to give the um, takeover speech on behalf of God. Thank you very much, Yesunde. Good evening, everybody. Um, and a very warm welcome again to this um, graduation ceremony. My name is Taiwo. Um, and I'm speaking on behalf of cohort two. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to all the graduates for giving us the opportunity to be part of your ceremony tonight. Um, we are excited for your unveiling and what God is about to do in your lives and in your ministries in Jesus name. Mm. So the call of God upon anyone's life is tied to the power of choice and one can choose to heed or ignore it. We salute the generals in cohort one for blazing the trail at the minister's school and we wish them the very best as they step into another phase of their various ministries. In the haloed halls of the minister's schools, uh, your names will always and forever be remembered. As you hand over the baton to us today, we promise with the help of God to maintain the pace to keep our eyes on the mark and not drop the baton, but to also hand it over to cohort three, just as we have received it. We are excited for what will be a phenomenal, as I said earlier. Um, and my commitment to you today, of cohort two, is that the choices that we have made to be here, that has led us to be here, as our journeys unfold, and the conversations and the prayers and the books and all the work that we're gonna do, um, we will consciously make a commitment to ensure that all we do is based fully on the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I hope that as a cohort, we can reach out to you guys for help, for support, for love. Um, but yes, thank you very much, everyone. It's been a joy just sitting through your graduation ceremony and I'm excited. Um, for when I get to this point and I get to kind of share my story with everybody else. So thank you so much. God bless you. It's been amazing and um, all the very best. Thank you so much, um, Miss, uh, Mrs. Taiwo. So thank you for that wonderful and uh, breathtaking speech. Thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm actually speaking on behalf of everyone. I sure our doors are hoping, yes. Because you, you asked in your speech whether will we be available for you. And uh, I'm sure I'm speaking in the mind of my colleagues that yes, sure, I don't will be hoping. You are always welcome. So now we go to the next agenda, which is vote of thanks. Vote and of please, thanks. I would like to invite General Yanulua Omolade. General, it's you know you are. General. Is General Itunolua here?
General Yesmede, please take the vote of thanks on our bail. All right, very quickly. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for sitting through this graduation ceremony. Well, sometimes when the spotlight is not on, I feel like, oh, let us wrap up. But thank you, you know, for staying. So thank you to my fellow graduates. I have a bias for the Ministry of Health. So, my guys, thank you so much for making my work easy. Thank you to all the other teams. Thank you to everyone in cohort one. You guys have been so amazing. Thank you to all our facilitators. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for imparting us. Thank you to Pastor May and Reverend Kay. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us here today. Thank you to all the family and friends who are connected to this meeting tonight. Thank you for supporting us all through this journey. And to cohort two, you will always have love here. Um, we're right here if you need us. We're not going anywhere. This is home for us. So you are just coming in to join us. We're not leaving as we're. Um, thank you, everyone. And finally, thank you, Reverend Bimbo Mesele, for everything. I mean, where do I start? For pushing us, for encouraging us. There were times we had had knocks in class. There were times we, we weren't doing what we were meant to do. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for, for being the coach in our lives at this season. Thank you for stirring awakenings in us. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for pouring out of yourself into us and then we have a little talking for you um it's just a seed based on our class um, ministry and finance this is out of love the lesser is blessed of the greater we know exactly what we're doing we're very deliberate about it so we, we trust that we will start to operate in dimensions like you were going to, you will we'll, we'll be proud of us. Let me say that, you'll be proud of us. And thank you everyone once again for your time, your data, and for staying through with us. Thank you everyone, God bless you. Very quickly, Reverend Mesele is going to be making um, closing announcements and then we'll call it a night, not a day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, um, everyone that has been part of tonight's um, graduation. It's um, now I can sleep. I mean, I can sleep for the next two weeks before courts to start their class um, June thirtieth. It's been sleeping with one eye. Your your heart is praying even when your mouth is not moving. Um, and I've carried. God has helped me to carry everyone. <sighs> And sometimes that there's some there's some things I can't share. God just shows me, and I just have to stay in the place of prayer. God, please do this, God. And now we're graduating. It's been it's more than sixty days, and I'm totally grateful to God. To those who have signed up to call to, you will have a blast. We're going to have amazing. And now I see that many some people have already signed up to courts too, from court one. Mrs. Taiwo, you come. Hmm. You have people from courts one who are saying we're not stopping here we're moving on and it's and it's it's been a joy court two will be entirely different new um some new facilitators and court two will have the opportunity to listen and watch all that court one had and have extras but it's been an amazing journey and i saw the seed um it um this still hit my account when general luce was saying uh, and over speech and like um i'm not going to be terry although i have um Soviet here i'm not going to be terry this time but i thank you so much i appreciate the seat i'm eternally grateful thank you for the heart of love thank you for honoring me i pray that god will receive your seed will cause it to multiply and that these seeds will speak for you and things money can buy and money cannot buy. I declare that doors will be open for you. 
I declare that in the name of Amen. Jesus, you walk on your high places. Amen. Nations will open to Amen. you. I declare that every Amen. relationship that you need part-time will come to you. You will meet them, they will meet you, and they will, your heart will meet. I pray Amen. that in the name of Amen. Jesus, this will be the least that you will be. Amen. You will go from one level of glory to another, manifesting the beauty of God. I pray Amen. that the anointing of God's spirit will rest on you. His presence will carry you. His glory will envelop you. Amen. I pray Amen. that in the name of Jesus, everything Amen. that has been difficult before now is now made easy. I pray that you will ride on the wings of grace. Amen. That God will carry you. His grace will envelop Amen. you. In the name of Jesus, I call the Amen. desires Amen. of your heart granted. Amen. In Amen. Jesus Almighty name. That every time I hear from Amen. you, I will hear testimonies Amen. of great and mighty things that God is doing through you. Ene kuzo fratiga mando kubonde vrendo suzelida kapando kurendi gele brede gele di andala In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, everyone. So to court one, tomorrow is dinner. We're not done. Please remember, come with your, you're not eating your dinner alone. Let's um, get to Slack and discuss what time will be dinner. For those of you that eat early, please set the time for maybe five o'clock so that we can all eat early. Dinner is tomorrow. It's just for one hour. And then we'll discuss going forward. How do we bond? What do we do? Forward. Thank you to everyone who has made this a success. Those who work behind the scenes, the videos, and all of that. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful night. And for, to those that joined us, the facilitators, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. Thank you to all our facilitators. Please, can everyone, generals on mute your mic as we say thank you to the facilitators and everyone who has been here. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 <laughs> okay. Please don't miss dinner tomorrow. We will be at dinner tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Nobody is going. <laughs> oh, we are not going, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We are not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen in that class? <laughs> <laughs> I have a class in two minutes. We don't want to miss your voice. Let's pray dogs for one hour. Thank you so much, ma. Good night. I miss my classmates already. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Bless you, everyone. Please gather here for food for group photograph. Yes. Gather here for group photograph.
We are here now. We are here. We are here. We are here. Good morning, everybody. During exam, all of you are serious. Exam, what are you doing? Exam series. Thank 